Hello, yes, there is no British nationalism. What nationalist parties were once genuine ones are no longer. They're in the hands and control of the enemy. Hope not hate, says La Magazine. The BMP and the National Front. They were two once mighty political parties. At the establishment terrified. They're now in the hands of the enemy. Hope not hate, says La Magazine. Nicholas Jerry Gable, right? Others like Britain First has been an enemy created one. Uh, Amory Waters and Tommy Robinson have never been British nationalism. Their aim is to steal the show from British nationalism and to uh, take the public down dead end roads or scare the public away even. Especially in the case of Tommy Robinson. The Tommy Robinson Roadshow, now reality TV, taking us nowhere, going to get nowhere, do nothing, achieve zilch. And Marie Wars is pushing the old, outdated nonsense, attacking Islam, no economic policies as such yet, and waiting to see how she's going to address um, uh, the migrant crisis that's affecting schools, um, the road, the congestion, uh, congestion on the trains, uh, the list is endless. But all she pushes on her Facebook is, again, Muslim crimes. The public doesn't want to know. The public's not interested about who raped do the other week. If you believe the on I'm talking a load of rubbish, put a crime leaflet out and, and detail all the latest rapes and see how many votes you get. Well, exactly. You know, haven't we learned anything yet? Look at the Lee Rigby made. I was watching crime and investigation program on the cable. Sky TV yesterday and it featured the uh, terrible mayor of Lee Rigby. Did our vote go up? Did the membership spike? No. I don't know what it is but these are not, they're not, uh, they're not recruiters and they're certainly not issues where you romp home at the ballot box. We don't, I don't know why but we don't, right? 7-7, seven, seven. I mean the list is endless. Nick Griffin, British Unity, that's another one, endless amounts of crime, crime and crime, I don't know what for, you've buggered off now, so I don't even know why you've got a Nick Griffin British unity, it's a bit of a contradiction in terms, isn't it? Maybe you're going to surprise us and come back, well don't hold your breath, you've ran away, you've left us, you've abandoned the people you let down, you're a shameful man, and like one veteran nationalist said to me once, you're a shameless fucker, and you are, you should be back here. Rise, you, that's right, you, you should be back here getting British nationalism back up and running. John Tyndall wouldn't have run away with this bogus bollocks you coming out with Reconquista and all the other crap. I said in my last two videos on the Reconquista, I used words such as um, wishful thinking and pipe dream. It's neither of them two, it's deceit. You know it's a load of rubbish. You're just selling it to a naive gullible audience in Eastern Europe, no doubt. But you need to get back here, right? You're not going to, I know, but I'm going to say it anyway, right? What you've done is scandalous. It'll go down in infamy in British nationalist history, right? You won't be a hero ever, right? Trust me, you won't. But anyway, that's another video in itself. Um... Where was I now? Got a bit sidetracked there. So, there is no British nationalism, right? Like I've said, Anne-Marie Wars is pushing the nonsense, Sharia law, Muslim crimes, rape, murder, whatever, um, honour killing, female genital mutilation, halal meat. I mean, the halal meat one as well, come on. Have you not looked around? There's a kebab shop in every shopping precinct. If the public was concerned about Alal Meat, they wouldn't be thriving, and they are, trust me, they are thriving. Bizarre, literally bizarre, I was still pushing the same nonsense, but it's the enemy, it has to be. So, British nationalism no longer exists, there is no more British nationalism. The two British nationalist parties, the once mighty national fronts I was a proud member of, and the one successful BMP I was a proud member of, they've been taken over by the enemy. Hope not hate, says La Magazine. Paul Golding is an enemy created one. As I've said, Tommy Robinson, Rojo, uh, and Marie Waters, they're not British nationalism. They're to, they're to scare people away from our cause. And also to take it down a dead end road where it's not going to achieve anything. Especially with Anne Marie Waters, but what she's pushing. You know, like I've said, I've, 
you know, where's their policies on um, on a Facebook as an example, how they're going to address local issues that local people affect, not Muslim grooming and all that. No one's interested. So uh, I've made this video because British nationalism doesn't exist, but it's going to, uh, it's going to be again, right? It's going to exist again. Operation Kenya, solid Kensington here in Liverpool. That's still on, right? I will be standing there, hopefully, um, for a new political party I'm going to form, hopefully. The very, 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 very least as an independent, but hopefully as a new political party. But I've had to, um, I've had to get back to drawing board because the enemy's trying to outfox me and outwit me, hasn't it? But the good thing about this is that I've forced the enemy, haven't I, to create a political party. And they've shown their hand. So I'm going to watch what Amory Waters does and we'll take it from there. But British nationalism will be back, trust me. Okay, thank you.